once you have received your goods and your invoice from the vendor, then you are ready to pay them. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to pay our vendor. To get to that screen, I will click on accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry, outgoing payment down here, and then post. And the T code for that is F53, so I can key that in up here as well. All right, so we go to F53 and we see the title of the screen is Post Outgoing Payments. And so I'll put in the header information. I'll put in the document date for today, which is April 21. And then the posting date will be fine for today. I'll put my company code in for US 27. If it is not already populated, I want to make sure that the currency is correct. We are a US dollar company. And at that point, we're good. And then down here under the bank, it says, well, which account do you want to pay it out of? So companies may have different accounts that they pay different payables invoices out of. So in our case, we'll just pay it out of our normal bank account. And I could also use the lookup tool here if I can't remember exactly what my account is. But in my case, it's 100,000. So I can select that. And then it says, well, how much do you want to pay your vendor? And in your, and in your case, you'll want to pay them the full invoice amount. So hopefully you uh, have that written down somewhere. Uh, but for me, it's 5,265. You'll want to make sure that you know what your amount is. All right, so I've put my amount in. Now I have to tell it where to go find what I'm paying. And that's what this open item references. So first I'm going to key in my vendor ID and that's going to be for me 114127. You will use your own vendor ID. And then I want it to automatically search for open invoices from that vendor to pay. Once I do that, I've got a button up here that says process open items. So it's going to look for open items from this vendor search for them, and then I can process them. And in this case, I can put in whatever the cash discount is. I don't have one. And uh, yeah, see, it uh, doesn't like that, but that's okay. My not assigned is zero. So I've entered $5,265. I've assigned the $5,265 uh, to the appropriate document number. For this vendor. So this is the actual document number that's going to be created in the GL for this vendor payment. So now I post it and you can see my document number was posted in company code US27. All right, so we have now paid our vendor and at this point we have completed our transaction, our business process for this one single vendor purchase and payment. Let's go back to the uh, main menu in SAP and we will move on and see what we can do next.